Censors in China want to keep a lid on the extravagant lifestyles of the wealthy young Chinese, but when these rich kids come to North America, they certainly don't mind flaunting it. Keep watching to learn about the shocking scandal caused by one such rich kid from China. Stay tuned to see. If this is your first time visiting our channel, make sure you subscribe, and while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Today we're going inside the lives of the rich kids of China. If you've ever wondered how the other half live, you'll be fascinated to learn about the lives of the wealthiest young Chinese socialites. In fact, this isn't so much the other half as the top 1%. These children of incredibly wealthy Chinese families are known as Future, which means second generation rich, and the way they flaunted their riches on social media and reality series led to a ban. In 2016, China's State Administration of Press, Publication, Radio, Film and Television banned children of celebrities from appearing on reality TV shows. The regulations were put forward as a way to protect minors from being exploited, but it was also a way to rein in the pampered kids of billionaires whose ostentatious displays of wealth highlighted the gap between the richest and the poorest in the country. It's not surprising when you consider how some of the rich kids of China boasted about their bank balances. Let's look at Wang Sikong as an example. He's the son of a real estate and entertainment magnate who's often referred to as the richest man in China. And as a flashy 20-something, Wang posted a picture on social media that caused controversy. He uploaded a photo of his pet dog wearing two gold Apple watches. Chinese state media had already been outraged by the way he recklessly disseminates vulgar information, which leads to the worship of money. This is in stark contrast to what China's president wants his country to represent. President Xi Jinping and the ruling Chinese Communist Party have been running an anti-corruption campaign which requires officials to live in a state of austerity. The government also held an educational retreat for 70 children of billionaires to teach them about social responsibility and traditional Chinese values. So, after this recent crackdown on corruption in China, such conspicuous consumption as Wang's has become a real no-no. But that hasn't stopped the rich kids of China who moved to the West showing off their extravagant lifestyles. The stars of the Canadian reality TV web series Ultra Rich Asian Girls of Vancouver are a group of Futurai doing just that. They think nothing of dropping $70,000 dollars on a necklace. Although censors in China banned reality shows similar to this one, saying children of the well-off should not be flaunting their wealth, this program continued to be filmed in North America. So it's no surprise that one of the cast members, Diana Wang, revealed that her parents back home in China didn't know anything about her involvement in the show, and that they would be very angry if they found out. But China's new rich do see the West as the goal for their children. They send them to the UK and North America so that they can get an education, start a business, and socialize. However, with this move comes a concern about globalized wealth and inequality. These rich kids come from a culture that values hard work and thriftiness and has a long history of poverty. How does that sit alongside the Futurai's brazen splashing of cash? Although the stars of ultra-rich Asian girls of Vancouver are filmed spending ridiculous amounts of money on jewelry and clothes, they also realize the importance of making their own fortune. Cast member Chelsea Jang runs her own children's fashion website, and her fellow docudrama co-star Pam Chow runs a modeling agency. So what do these rich kids from China who are living in North America spend their money on? One popular purchase is a supercar. A car that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars sounds like a serious splurge to most of us. But these super rich kids from China consider the cost of a Lamborghini or a Ferrari cheap. That's because elite cars in China can cost more than 250% of their price in the US. Nick Lam co-founded his own company that specifically helps rich Chinese college students buy ultra-luxury vehicles. The 20-something entrepreneur revealed that his client Clients consider the U.S. price reasonable, and they certainly have enough money to buy a supercar in the States. Some deals have involved cars that sold for up to $800,000. These kinds of extravagant purchases can give rich kids from China instant fame. These new stars then give the world a glimpse inside their luxury lifestyles through their social media accounts. They also become famous through their relationships with other high-profile Chinese celebrities. Mocha Fang entered the limelight as a 20-something on a matchmaking variety show and then in an online series called Girls' Apartment, which was based loosely on Sex in the City. But her fame grew when she started dating Aaron Kwok, a very famous singer, dancer, and actor from Hong Kong, who was a couple 
couple of decades older than her. He's one of the four heavenly kings, a term that a media outlet used to refer to the four biggest male entertainment superstars in Hong Kong in the 1990s. Aaron announced their relationship on Weibo, which is China's version of Twitter, and Mocha got busy sharing snapshots of her riches on Instagram. The couple got married in April 2017 and welcomed their first child in September. Mocha's life is extravagant but pretty much scandal-free. The same can't be said for Gua Mei Mei. She stirred up some drama when she brought the state-run Red Cross Society into a major controversy. Gua first gained fame on China's Weibo social media network in 2011 as Baby Gua Mei Mei. She claimed to be general manager of an organization affiliated with the Red Cross Society, but her outlandish lifestyle wasn't exactly in keeping with that of a modest charity worker. She shared pictures of her flamboyant life, which consisted of a Maserati, jet ski, Hermes handbags, and casino outings. She even posted a screenshot of her huge bank balance. But this life eventually came crashing down. The Red Cross Society denied any affiliation and reported her to the police, but the damage was already done and donations to the charity plummeted. The Chinese anti-corruption got involved and Guo was eventually arrested for running an illegal casino in Beijing during the FIFA World Cup. She gave a disturbing confession from jail. An apology was reportedly ordered from the highest ranks of China's Communist Party. She described herself as liking to show off and having the vain mindset of a little girl. Unlike many of the other rich kids of China, Gua didn't have a privileged background. She wasn't a fooderai, but she did build a fortune at a young age through being a professional mistress, and it was her social media boasting that made her one of the most hated women in China. And she was made an example of in a stark warning that a reckless pursuit of wealth can have calamitous consequences. Consequences. What do you think about the rich kids of China? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe to the Taco.